Sophie and I, let me get this focusing, right? Is it locked? All right, Sophie and I, are, we're going to a father-daughter dance. It's our first one. We're looking forward to it. She looks adorable. Say hi, sweetheart. Hi. And I'm gonna try to film a couple dances. So I'm gonna go try to find a bottle of water somewhere. But they have water. Try it! Hey man, how are you? Good, how are you? I'll, I'll get this water. Are you sure? Wait, there's a father-daughter in the next door. Andrew Smith. Andrew, if you're watching this, thanks for the water. That was really nice of you. Alright, back to the dance. Not us. That's us. The battery's about to die. So we're gonna say goodnight. We're gonna end the evening here. You can put your hand over the lens. Say goodnight. Bye bye. Now move your hand close towards the lens. Say bye and then go towards the lens. Lens. Now you put your hand on the lens to cover it up. No, that's this is the lens. That's the lens right here. Go like this. So John and I, we're here in his hotel room. The premiere is in two days. We have three films to try to fine tune and wrap up. Uh, so tonight's gonna be super productive and we're gonna get everything done tonight in the next two hours. Is that right, John? <laughs> Maybe two and a half. Two and a half hours. <laughs> This telescoping ladder is just, it does not feel safe. Day two of filming with Jeremiah at Kibler and Kirch. Shoot is going really well. And I'm running a little bit late because I got coffee and Scene with Ellen, Jeremiah, and John are food for some these shots. So far, the shoot's going good. Feels like it's fine. It feels like people will pay it for local, you know, art, art house type things. Good thing I put the lens protector back on. Yeah. Yo, what's up? I'm in your office at your desk. Talking into my camera. Yeah, this is well needed activity for us long. It is, right? Yeah. Thanks. For good energy. Close wise. the doors, count to about three, and then open them. Watch, I mean, this was really nice, I thought. It's a nice shot. 
Yeah, strong, isn't it? I mean, it's just, it's, it's very, very... The red and the flowers and the rugs. I think I pulled back more. The chandelier. That's the bulk of it. I think some of these shots we're getting, um, we won't use for this film, but Jeremiah will have them for anything down the road. You realize we spent longer on this than we did on Winter Solstice. Mm. Filming? <laughs> for a four-minute film? For a four-minute film, we spent two days versus one day on a 20-minute <laughs> It's a full house. This is really exciting. The world premiere of three short films. This guy helped out on two films. Everyone in this room is either a supporter or a contributor in some capacity. Thank you so much um, for everything you've done to make these films happen and this event happen. I hope you guys enjoy the films. John and I, we stepped outside for some fresh air. One year that Art House has been open. Yeah. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Uh, we're going to be watching some films and then there's going to be a quick Q&A afterwards. But without further ado, one of our fearless directors and beautiful individuals, Mr. Brian Mernion, everybody. You all for coming. Um, I recognize about a third of you, and I hope to meet the rest of you by the end of the night. And uh, we can't wait to show you these these films that we made. I was supposed to say something about. So we're playing this off of a uh, hard drive, and Lord willing, it doesn't fail. Yeah. Um, so uh, bear with us if we have to adjust the audio a little bit. It's we're seeing some of these for the first time with you guys, so. Um, that's exciting. We find that really exciting. Thank you to Max and to Ryan and to Art House. Not only did they allow us to film here, but we're premiering here, and we feel like that's 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 exactly what we want. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so I guess uh, without further ado, let's begin the films. Um, we're going to show two trailers for two of John's new films coming out. One's a feature, one's a short. Um, and we hope you guys enjoy the show. We'll see you later. So we're going to play, um, oh, let's see, what is it? We're going to sh play uh, early December, early winter solstice lasts, so early Apollo's middle. So late December, early Apollo, <laughs> winter solstice. <laughs> like Bone cinema. Nothing collapses. To die. It feels really good to show work in public in front of an audience. Um, work isn't complete until you actually show it to an audience. You can make the best films in the world, but if you don't premiere them and show them and share them with people, they're not complete. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we're trying to plan out a strategy of which types of festivals would be best for them and which order to go in. So kind of amazing if you just stop and think about it that the biggest problem now is just marketing. So if, if we were self-producing, uh, self-distributing filmmakers in 10, 15 years ago, we would be mailing out VHS tapes <laughs> to magazines and to, to movie theaters and, you know, driving across the country to try to get our work seen with, with tins full of, of film reels. So now we can do it just from a laptop from anywhere. And I think that's, that's really encouraging to me. The problem is that you just get this, like, um, 
because it's so easy, there's so much more content. So there, we need festivals uh, more than ever to be able to sort that content out. And curators like the people who work um, for Art House here, you know, they're a big part in that process because they can look at the films that are good that they think are worth showing to you, and you know, that's that's needed more than ever because there, just every day there are more and more and more films being made. I love new technology. I love people embracing it. And, and there's new ways to tell stories, whether it's 20 minutes on a big screen or 15 seconds. And, and I love experimenting with, I think Paul's Snapchatting right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, thanks again. So did some, but I don't remember if he did any. Yeah, um, I, he didn't shoot those, and I have no idea who did them. So, I think it was me. I think it was Cause, you. Because you specifically told me, hey, can you just go get shots of all the pictures on the wall? I was like, yeah, sure. I think that's right. And I didn't put you in the credits. I made the cut! Well, you were in the credits, but I, I was. put you down for additional, footage. Photo additional photography. Dude, I was just happy to see my name up there. Yeah. So.